Welcome back to Lafayette Lifestyle. Got a special treat for you. We have the CEO of Downtown Development Authority, Anita Begno. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Thanks for having me and coming downtown to meet with me. Man, super excited to have you. So tell us, we got lots of cool stuff going on here, Downtown Lafayette. Downtown Alive, I hear it's coming back. So- yeah, so Downtown Alive is coming back. We're going to do another virtual season because um, it's a little challenging to have large scale events right now. Absolutely. Um, hoping to come back in the fall in person, but but for the spring, we've got a really exciting lineup. We're going to kick off our season with Cupid. Uh, this is his first time playing Downtown Alive, so he's super excited for this hometown opportunity. That's going to be on March 19th at 6 p.m. And you can check out our Facebook page, our Downtown Alive page, and our Downtown Lafayette page, where you can watch that show with friends, family. And we'll even be doing some watch parties from downtown restaurants and establishments where you can catch the show there as well. Oh, man. Awesome. So you guys also have some cool stuff. Coffee talk. Yes. Tell me about that. We started a new series last year called Coffee Talk, and unfortunately, they all became virtual coffee talks because sure. that's what 2020 was like. But um, we are kicking off with a hybrid. Um, that's going to be on March 23rd. Uh, we're going to have an in-person um, cap of 30 people at Rock and Bowl. And then we're also going to be streaming um, on Zoom. That's for our DOU members. We'll talk more about membership, I know, but uh, we're going to be having uh, the new chief of police and the new city marshal for that coffee talk to talk about uh, their new roles and law enforcement in downtown Lafayette and why it's so important to keep downtown safe. That's awesome. And we got some cool stuff going on too for Sundays. Yes. Brunch, right? Yes. We're working really hard on activating downtown on Sundays. There are seven places of worship. Uh, downtown. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, Thousands of people come downtown on Sundays for church, and we want to try to capture them to enjoy brunch and lunch uh, after church and support our small businesses down here. So we had a pilot brunch in February. Uh, We shut down the 400 block where La Coretta, Central Pizza, Tula Tacos, uh, Gentry, etc. are, and it was really successful. And people were excited to have a safe outdoor opportunity to come and enjoy downtown, and so we're bringing it back. And don't we miss that 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 atmosphere that's been going on with it. Yeah, Speaking we of do. atmosphere, we got some cool stuff. Art Walk. Art Walk. Yeah, so Art Walk happens every second Saturday uh, in downtown. It's a long tradition. Um, it's, it's ebbed and flowed in how much we program it over the years. And it was tough in 2020 to uh, bring everybody um, together to enjoy Art Walk. But we are excited to kick off some new partnerships in 2021. The Crafts Guild, which um, is located uh, right in Park saint Souci, is putting together an art market uh, for March through August in Park saint Souci, They'll have a couple dozen vendors. And then Arts and Fleas is back. That's in Park de Lafayette, which is that little small park next to the beer garden. So we'll have two art markets for Art Walk. And then, of course, all of our businesses will be open. All of our galleries will be open. And we're hoping people can, again, come enjoy some safe family fun downtown. That's awesome. So speaking of businesses, you know, I hear there's some cool events, programs that you guys have up your sleeves, ready to roll. You you, you know, share some of that with us? (laughs) Yeah, we got some cool things going on downtown. Uh, 2020 was a challenge for us, just like anybody else. Uh, But we saw a lot of resiliency. We got a lot of small, locally owned businesses, restaurants, bars, music venues, art galleries, retailers down here. We're really proud that our businesses are local. And we've got even more on the horizon. There's a number we were talking about before we started that are going to open this year. We're really pumped up about Luna uh, Bar and Grill from over in Lake Charles, opening their second location here. Uh, Vestal uh, with Chef Ryan Trahan, who was the 2018 Louisiana Seafood King, is opening his new concept. Yeah, we got a flower shop coming downtown. Uh, I'm talking to someone about a restaurant later this week. I'm talking to someone about a distillery later this week. So lots on the horizon, and we want people to know that downtown is growing, it's thriving, and it's an exciting place to be. So one of the things that's on a lot of people's mind that I talk to personally is Festival International. What's what's happening? Yeah, so last year they went virtual. Uh, they're going to go virtual again this year. I don't think a lot of people realize this, but over 300,000 people descend upon downtown during that week to come to festival and so uh in the spirit of being safe they're going virtual again this year and so during that regular time frame in april um they'll be doing virtual shows but they're doing something really cool this year that we're excited to partner with them on
on and helped to promote. It's going to be called Feastival. So if you have paid attention in 2020 when we did the uh, chicken sandwich snack down in the Burger Battle Royale, right, right. they're doing uh, a month-long competition with restaurants in the area, not just downtown, but all over Lafayette, oh, awesome. to support festival. It's called Feastival. And a dollar from every sale that those participating restaurants has during the month of April for those special items mm -hmm. that they'll be selling, uh, that'll go straight to Festival International to help support them this year while they can't have the festival in person. But we are really hopeful for a 2022 festival back in downtown, and we're already talking about it. Man. I know everybody is itching to get back to normalcy right there. And one one thing you did mention, too, memberships that were going on. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so Downtown Lafayette Unlimited is our nonprofit. It's a 501c6. And so I like to say we're the Chamber of Commerce for Downtown Lafayette, helping to bring together businesses, support our small businesses, and promote what they do and, and what they bring to the table. Um, and you can be a member. So we're encouraging people to get involved with downtown. You can visit our website at downtownlafayette.org, uh, and you can join as a member there. We've got an individual membership uh, that starts at $75. We've got family memberships if your family loves downtown and wants to support the programs that we put on. And then we've got memberships for businesses of all sizes. So if you think about it, uh, if you're a small business or an individual or a family, uh, for the price $10 a month, a couple coffees a month, you can help to support downtown Lafayette and help us to get back to where we want to be with downtown live in person, a snowball festival, all those fun things that people love about downtown. Man. Amen to that. Definitely looking forward to getting it all back to normal. So thanks so much for, uh, for joining us over here and stopping by. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. As always, if you have any more questions about downtown Lafayette, check out downtownlafayette.org. As always, for Lafayette Lifestyle, I'm Robbie Bro. We'll see you next time. If you want your business featured here on Lafayette Lifestyle, contact us at 347-9800 or email us at lafayettelifestyle at gmail.com.